Today, we'll be installing this Asus Wi-Fi 7 Dual Band Zen Wi-Fi BD4. This is the three package, and this is what it looks like. Here is a remote control, a Samsung remote control for size comparison. In the back of the units, there's only two Ethernet ports. DC power input and a power button. And all three of them are identical to one another. There is no difference whatsoever, including the package is a very small flat Ethernet core. Power connectors, all three of them. Physically, we have the Verizon box. The blue cable is feeding into the first ASUS. And then the second cable feeds into the second ASUS. And finally, we'll feed it into this third one. On the last ASUS, the gray cable is then connected to my laptop to configure. You're supposed to use a phone or tablet to configure everything using the app. It's okay. We can still configure everything using a laptop. I should mention that since I am setting things up on the third ASUS node, it will be the master. If this master unit is somehow damaged or offline, then there's no way the other two nodes will work. Very interesting, as I later found out. By the way, if this video is helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. This lets YouTube know my video is indeed helpful and will recommend to others like yourself. With the laptop connected to the third ASUS unit, let's open up any web browser. As soon as Firefox opens, it gives this error message that you must log into this network before getting access to the internet. Click on the checkbox and then click on agree. Agree again. Let's create a new network. Connect all of your ACES and power them up if you haven't already. Click on Next. Create a username and password for your ACES. This is needed to secure all of your access point configuration. I am going to name admin as my login name. Use a strong password to prevent your kids from hacking in. Click on Next when you are ready. Now it's time to set up your Wi-Fi network name and password. Very nice that there is an option to have the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz to have separate names. I know a lot of routers out there that do not have this option. So let's take advantage of this option. We'll give different names to the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. Click on apply. Interesting that you can create another network just for your IoT devices. Review all of your settings on this summary page. I highly recommend saving all of this info somewhere. It does seem to take about a minute or two for the new Wi-Fi access point name to show up. Click on the new Wi-Fi when you do see yours. Click on connect. Type in your password and click on next. Let's log into the settings to see if we will make any additional changes. This is pretty much a standard dashboard of any ASUS router. It's interesting to note that there are four cores in this access point. The thing is basically a mini computer. Now, if you're like me and you're using the Verizon box, keeping the Verizon box, then you should definitely go to the left-hand side, scroll down a little bit, and go down to Administration. We're using this as an access point, meaning that this is the Internet, this is the Verizon box, and this is the ASUS. If you're not using the Verizon box here, then obviously the mode will be wireless router mode. Click on Save. Click OK. We're going to get automated IP address. Click on Apply. Remember, when you make any changes, it'll take about a minute or two to reconnect. I still have the Verizon box spreading, spraying out all that Wi-Fi signal. We need to disable Wi-Fi on the Verizon box, otherwise it might interfere with the Wi-Fi signal from our new ASUS. Let's go to 192.168.1.1. If you're curious how I got that IP address on your Windows machine, press the window key, type in CMD. Open the command prompt. 
in the command prompt, type in ipconfig, and now it will give you all of this number. What we want is the default gateway. That will be the IP address of the Verizon or Comcast box if you have one. In my case, it's 192.168.1.1 for my Verizon box. Click on Advanced, accept the risk, and continue. Type in the network password that's in the back of the box and click on Login. Click on Continue. Skip. Go to Network Settings. Go to Wi-Fi. Click on this to disable Wi-Fi. Apply Changes. Click on OK. Click on OK. While the Verizon box is applying the changes while it's rebooting, the ASUS will be blinking blue because there's no internet for it. It took about another three minutes for the master node to come back. We can certainly go to fast.com to verify that the internet is still working. And it is working. That's good. Let's try connecting to the 5 GHz to see how much speed will improve. Hit the refresh button and the speed is now substantially improved. Alright, hopefully you found this video helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.